everyone. Today I would like to review one of two named takedown record bells, Samic Lightning for Europe and Samic Nighthawk for North America. By the way, I think both names sound cool. When you buy your bow, this is what you get in your box. Riser, two limbs, allen key, two bolts and a string. So one of the negatives is, is as you may see, it's uh, slightly uneven, this, this cloth you have underneath. It's hard to tell, uh, maybe I over pressured it, but maybe it's supposed to be like that. You just, here you probably see the best, it's slightly uneven, still good. So this is how you assemble your bow, you have this. Uh, limb and just just line it as you see there's uh, two two holes you just align them and one screw Now that's it. The limbs is attached and tied down. It's pretty easy. Uh, one more thing is uh, what I don't like is since it has clear coating of. Uh, I don't know, it's a clear glass or something, uh, it's, I don't know exactly what it is. It's, it's really visible on, uh, on the limbs when you, when you scratch them. I mean, it's nothing serious, it's just, uh, just visually not really appealing. See, uh, and I actually didn't go through woods with this or anything, it just, uh, so normal use, just, uh, I probably just leaned this bow onto something and this is what I got. It's really... Just nitpicking, really. It costs at this moment roughly $300. Since this is takedown bow, you can buy limbs separately for $170 and the riser respectively for $130 if you want. For example, if you want to get lighter bow poundage wise for training or indoor shooting and then when you are ready for tougher weights, uh, you can get something heavier. You can buy limbs ranging from 35 pounds to 60 in 5 pound increments. Limbs are compatible with fast flight string. So this maker is uh, 60 inch long. Riser length is 16 inch. So it is quite short and would be good for traditional hunters for crawling through bushes and stuff. Total bow weight is uh, 950 grams or 2 pounds. It is very light and still feels solid and sturdy in hand. This particular bow in my view is 45 pounds at 28 inches, but on bow scale it shows that it is actually 46 pounds at 28 inches, 48 uh, pounds at 29 inches, and whopping 52 pounds at 30 inches. So archers with longer draw uh, beware, as after 30 inches it stacks quite a bit. Semic Lightning has very slight hand shock in my setup, 
Unfortunately, I can't tell if this is true out of the box. Since Lancaster Archery set me up with other sil silencers, you can see them in the video for free. But I don't think they, they make too much of a difference vibration handshock wise. Uh, they mostly reduce only noise. Grip on this bow is a little fat for my taste, but it, ha but it has uh, distinct curves which provide pleasant and secure grip for my hand. To conclude my review, I really like it. I rate it four and a half stars. This bow is uh, very beautiful, almost custom bow level craftsmanship. Uh, feels good in hand, uh, fairly quiet in my setup and just great shooter of overall. Unfortunately, there are a few cons. There are no holes for side query, elevated rest, vibration dampening, or any other side accessories you, you may want to have on this bow. But I believe this bow was made for those who want to shoot instinctively, and those people usually don't want any trinkets on their bows anyways. Second negative, cost of limbs uh, is a little high. For that money you can buy a decent and true level bow, but that is only if you are on a budget and don't mind having two bow bows uh, hanging on your wall instead of one. One of my viewers on YouTube uh, asked me what is the difference between this bow and Samic Sage. It feels, it feels a lot sturdier or, or stable I would say. Uh, just just feels better than the Samic Sage in some sense. But they are both great bows. If you buy Samic Sage you won't be regretting your bow, bow choice. I don't think you will. So I think this, this bow is actually for, for those people who have decided that uh, archery is actually their hobby. Particularly uh, traditional archery is their hobby. So, if some exchange is more or less uh, your everyday bow, a bow which you will be using for training, then this bow will be uh, a bow which will you um, appreciate more for uh, its, of course, its aesthetics and for uh, for how small and how just pleasant to use it. It's very pleasant to use and to have it at home, hanging on your wall, just to have a look at it whenever you want. Just, just very pleasant bow, and that's probably the main reason, the uh, reason to buy this bow, and main uh, difference what separates those two bows. Otherwise, you can probably buy some Sage and be happy with it anyway.